Today we're going to be talking about the binary system. And the binary system is important because it's the way that CPUs and computers store all their values. And it works entirely off 1 or 0. Okay? Now this is not a very powerful system because this means there are only two possible states. Whereas in our system, there is 10 possible states. Right? We have 0 through 9. But the way that it works is by using multiple pairs of 1s and zeros. you can create a number very large. So what we do is we make a number into a byte. So we use 8 of these is one byte. So this is this is a bit and we use 8 bits equals 1 byte. Okay? Now how does that actually work? Well, the way you do it is you have values like this. 2 to the 8, 2 to the 7, 2 to the 6, 2 to the 5, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 1, and 2 to the 0. And if there is a 0 here, that means that value is not counted. So if there's a 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, but a 1 here, that means this value is counted. 0 here this. With this system though, this 2 to the 8 system, you can have a possible of 256 values. But let's take this number that I made earlier. Well, since there is a 1 on top of 2 to the 2, there's a 1 at 2 to the 2 in the third bit, that means you count 2 to the 2. And there's also a 1 at 2 to the 0. So you count 2 to the 0, so you add 2 to the 0, and this equals 4 plus 1, and that is 5. So this whole thing here is the number 5 in binary, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's obviously a lot longer than what we use to just say the number 5, but still, this is how it's written in binary. And you can do everything in binary that you do in your normal numbers. You can do a plus B, you can do A minus B, A times B, A divided by B. You can do all this same stuff. But for CPUs, we figured out something really important. All operations are addition. All operations are addition. And I'll tell you why. Because A plus B is equal to A plus B. That one's obvious. But A minus B is equal to A plus negative B. And A times B is equal to A plus A plus A B times. And A divided by B is equal to A minus B minus B minus B as many times as you can. And we already know how subtraction works. It works like this. Now, for our computer, you really only need these two. Subtraction and addition. So how do you actually subtract the numbers, though? Well, let's take this example we had up here. Take the number 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, 1, 0, 1. Okay? And let's, we already know this is the number 5. Well, let's add the number, number 9 to that. Well, the number 9 is going to be 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, you can go ahead and check that one out yourself, because you need practice. But let's add this. What is 1 plus 1? Now keep in mind, this is 2 to the 0 plus 2 to the 0. So 
1 plus 1 is equal to 2. How do we write the number 2 in binary? Well, we write it like 1, 0. That's 2. So we're going to write 0, 1. We're going to carry the 1. And that's 1, 1, 1. And then the rest are simply zeros. Now we know this should equal 14. But let's try it out. We do not add anything at 2 to the 0. We do add something at 2 to the 1. We add 2 to the 2. And we add 2 to the 3. Great. So 2 to the 3 plus 2 to the 2 plus 2 to the 1. That is equal to 8 plus 4 plus 2. And that is equal to 14. And that is super cool. Now you know how to add numbers just like a CPU does in binary. But the reason the computer uses binary is because it's very easy to distinguish between states. Because usually computers, the computer we're building actually operates from 0 to 5 volts. But nowadays, we're getting so good at conserving power, we're actually operating from 0 volts to about 1 volt. That's not very much difference. And if you try and put 10 states inside 0 volts to 1 volt, that means 0 0.1 volts is the change. Each new number changes by 0 0.1 volts. And 0 0.1 volts is going to change so frequently in when you're measuring the volts. And you can try this out yourself. It, it'll change. Now, we know, oh, you know, digital signal goes like that. I know that. Dig that's how digital looks like. Well, it's not entirely true. Really, it looks like this. And there's probably some bigger humps and stuff in that. But the point is, it's not exactly even. There's always going to be some sort of discrepancy in the amount of current that's going around. So being able to distinguish between 0 volts and 1 volt isn't really, really important. And you want to make that line very very clear and splitting it up by 0 0.1 volts is not going to make it very clear which is why it's so important to use an only two state system for computers because it's just so much easier to read so we already know how to do addition so the question becomes how do we do subtraction well, as we said before, subtraction, a minus b, is the same thing as a plus negative b. So how do we convert this number b into its negative form? Well, the way we do this is using something called the twos complement. And this is how the twos complement works. Take the number 5, right? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. That is the number 5 in binary. To turn the number 5 into negative 5, you inverse every bit. So all the 1s go to 0, and all the zeros go to 1. That's 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 0, 1, 0. And then you add 1. Oops. So the number now becomes 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So this is negative 5 in binary. Now the way that the computer distinguishes between negative numbers and positive numbers, because you could just say, hey, why isn't this number just like almost 200, why isn't this number 252? Because this is the same thing as 252, isn't it? Because this is 2 to the 8, this is 2 to the 7, 2 to the 6, and so on. Well, it's because of this first bit. This first bit tells the computer that it is, in fact, a negative number. It tells the computer, this first bit here tells the computer that it is a negative number. So then, the computer knows that this is the negative number for negative 5. So actually, for 
bytes, you have a possible range of value from negative 127 to positive 127. This is the range of values you have from negative 127 to positive 127. But let's get back. So we know that a number n plus its negative number should equal 0. So let's take the number 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and add its negative form to it. And let's see what we get. Okay. 1 plus 1, 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1, 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1, 0, carry the 1. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now this is 9 digits now. But the computer is only using bytes. So it does not count this ninth digit. So this is actually the number 0. So that is how binary subtraction works. You convert a number into its negative form and then you add it to whatever you were going to add it to originally. So let's take 9 minus 5. Okay, the number 9 Zero 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 one zero zero one and five we did like this to convert it into its negative form so we know the number is one 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 zero one one right one one zero carry the one zero carry the one one 0, carry the 1, 0, carry the 1, 0, carry the 1, 0, carry the 1, 0, 1. Don't count this digit. Computer doesn't count it. 1, 0, 0. What is that number? That is the number 4. Right? Because this is 2 to the 2. And 2 to the 2 is equal to 4. And 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. This is how binary subtraction works. It works just like this. So in the computer, all we have to do is build an addition circuit. And then if we want to subtract, all we have to do is take A, goes directly into the circuit, and then B will go through an inverter, which will turn the number into its negative counterpart and then send it into the circuit, and then we'll get our output. But at the same time, you're going to learn about this later, there's going to be carry in on addition. Okay, So what we need to do is set carry in to plus voltage when we want to send it through the inverter. Now we'll learn later how the circuit for this actually works when we get into subtract when we actually get into subtraction with ICs. But for right now, this is just note this is how it's going to work. That's all you need to do, which is so much better because instead of having to create a whole another subtraction block, you merely have to make an addition block and send B through an inverter. All right. This has been addition, subtraction, how to read binary. Um, please like and subscribe this video. Leave a comment if you have any comments or questions. Uh, the next video we're going to be doing is going to be addition with ICs. We're actually going to build the circuit for doing addition. So thank you and see you guys in the next one. Bye.